Okay, so today we're going to be chatting to a cyclist friend of mine called James Edwards. And James, um, he cycles with Ilkeston Cycling Club, which is our local club. And he's also a video maker. He's got his own channel here on YouTube. So he'll, he'll be joining us in a second. And I'm going to be talking to him about how he's coping with the lockdown, how it's, it's affecting him. I know he's working at the moment. So he's a key worker, which we are clapping every Thursday for. I don't know if it's going to be actually the last time. So, um, yeah, hopefully he'll be joining us in a few minutes. Hi. Hello again. <laughs> we got there in the end. <laughs> yeah. I think it was probably from my end that um, it was uh, wrong on, so... It didn't do that though. I don't well. I think I was on first, I think. Right, is that probably what it was? I when I opened it up, I pressed new meeting instead of join. So whether I'd set it up wrong, um I don't know if that's the right thing anyway. So you been out today? Have you been out hey? to, have you been out today? Have you been working? Well, I started off at work and I had half a day off. Came to came to edit a video. Oh, have you been videoing? Yes, I did. I went for a trip on Monday. Excellent. So let me just tell because I'm recording now. So I didn't want to tell you that we were recording. So uh, just tell tell our viewers. So James is a video maker. Uh, this yeah. is James Edwards, and he makes videos. He's got his own YouTube channel. Um, he might be able to put in the comments section when we finish the video when it's uploaded loaded on YouTube um, where you can get onto that. Uh, but he's also a cyclist. He cycles for yep. the Cycling Club, um, which we aren't cycling at the moment. So um, yeah. you're a key worker. You're working at the moment. Well, yeah, sort of. Sort of. <laughs> There's a few problem with that but I'll keep private. Yeah, yeah, no worries. So tell me how lockdown is has affected you really. You know, what's going well, on? Well as you know, the one reason I like going out with a cycling club is a the company because I didn't know many people. I literally didn't know anyone what liked cycling. It was about the only thing I really like doing so obviously i miss the company and also when it comes to the type of videos i make it so like, i can't really i've not been able to go on any like long trips because of her restrictions and that bothers me because i like i like really want to get them done like i've got loads of ideas and they're just going round in my head and I just can't really get them, get them things done. And so yeah. do you ride for, is it because of the distance that you can't do or is it the places that you, you know, need to get to and you can't get there? So what's stopping well, you? Well, you're not, you're not meant to stay out anywhere overnight. Obviously, pubs are shut and there's some of the restrictions have changed a bit now but it's still you can't be fully free to do what I want to do because you could still get stopped by police or and that's what while you're out or something and because when I set these trips it's not like normally riding a bike I carry like everything on the bike it's like loaded with camping gear cooking gear on your bike stuff for like, yep stuff for powering gadgets <laughs> how do you manage it all where do you put it oh i've got like bags what you hang on racks i've got like 
bike especially for that purpose like obviously i don't ride on bikes if i'm just doing road riding i stick to my lightweight road bike and stress and that how many bikes have you got james oh um i think i've got five downstairs i've got a folding bike over here and i sold another folding bike i've got a there's a two bikes in the loft one of them's like scrap and the other one might get rebuilt because the bike i used to work is getting a bit old so i might rebuild one of the ones i sort of took out of use because it's still got some life in it yeah bless you you've mm. got a few then yeah there's a few bikes to keep you busy yeah <laughs> bless you so um ilkeston cycling club tell me a little bit i mean I, i'm part of the club as well yeah so tell me a little bit more about about them why do you like riding with them what is it about the club that obviously they are the best club in the world <laughs> um well i would say they've got like rides the kind of people who aren't you know so fit like they've got like the the kind of the health ride on monday nights where i mean i can ride further than that but i go on it for the company and just this it kind of is something to do i mean and obviously the sunday road rides they have like a slower ride and stuff i mean a lot of cycling clubs have a reputation they're all kind of like elite snobs but you know they don't want anyone who doesn't fit in that category i mean but the Oakland cycling club's got you know they welcome people who are kind of beginning and obviously i'm not really a beginner but i'm just not i just can't go super fast yeah that might have been because uh i where i were working there was a lot of dust in the air and it could have been that getting in my lungs yeah so i'm yet to really go on a road ride to see how i have a farm yeah is that what you like about the club then obviously the company as well but that the fact that they welcome everybody even beginners yes i do like that because i like to encourage people to get into cycling myself and you can't just you know say to someone who's maybe been smoking 30 years and have given up and they're a bit obese to go out with road cyclists what can do 80 miles at like flipping 30 miles per hour or whatever whatever they do i mean so the club's definitely got you know places for new people yeah. yeah yeah so tell me tell me a little bit more about how you're coping at home you know with obviously the club aren't doing rides at the moment i'm not quite sure when they will be i know british cycling at the moment i, I read the other day i think i've got till the end of june so i would imagine yeah. the club has to stick with the guidelines of what british yeah. cycling do um so uh yeah tell me a bit a little bit more about you know how you're gonna cope in the meantime well i've done some rides on my own but not as many as i should because i've got some things planned i want to do as day rides and i do them more as like a day out where with a club you might just be a few hours in the morning I sometimes do a ride where I'll, I'll take most of the day, so I've got a few of them planned. And well, when they first stopped the rides, I definitely kind of missed it. I mean, because I was just getting back into it after the months of bad weather. And, you know, and you think, well, any fitness I was building up, you kind of might lose it again and that's it, it 
it, so, you know, if you don't keep it up, you know, the weight goes on um, and you start putting the pounds on. So, you know, is that bothering you? Oh, I haven't really weighed myself. I may have put weights on, but I'll get out and do some cycling. Yeah. So have you got any friends that, you know, because we're allowed to meet one other person that you that um, that you have kept in touch with or that you have rode with or have you planned on doing something like that or will you? Well, there's one person in the cycling club who I've done a ride with and he'd probably be up for going for more rides, but most of the time it's a, my mate Ian who's like my YouTube channel co-host. I mean, he rides down here and so I'm sometimes hang about with him. Not many people would do the stuff he does. I mean, some people ask, they think he's kind of a bit crazy because he has, has actually got a van, yet he doesn't like using the van. He'd rather ride his bike with all his gear on it. I mean, he, on Monday, he must have done nearly 60 miles and Wow. About 50, 50 going back because he's done it as a loop and that's the type of stuff he'll do. Fantastic. <laughs> Brilliant. That's great. So we watch, I'll try and get him to watch this and at least I know how much, well. You're going to be a superstar, James. <laughs> eh? You're going to be a superstar. <laughs> yeah, I'll share this video about him and. Yeah. I can share it to a few places and some people will be. Fantastic. So sorry I'm cutting in there. So go going back to your your videos, what what do you take? What are the videos about? Is it about cycling? Is it about nature? <clears throat> Is it you know what do you set out to do? Do you have a plan before you go? Well sometimes I went on on a ride I might see something interesting or I'll see it on my mate. My mate Ian takes photos and puts them on Strava so sometimes I use that as like a target like in Burton on Trent there's a there's a Sustrans route I can't remember the number but it goes over this like old bridge, what's like from the 1800s. Oh, wow. It's called the Stapen, the Stapen Hill Ferry Bridge. And it's like a fantastic thing to look at and you're actually allowed to ride over it. And I've got a video, I rode all the way to Burton and Trent and back just to look at that bridge. And I'll do things, things like that for videos, but sometimes my videos are like, just camping and how to find a good camping spot and not get caught because it's the type of camping I do is not technically a, like allowed. Oh, you know? right. <laughs> I won't say anymore. <laughs> and sometimes I'll, you know, look, go on canals and show interesting things and then, you know, it's kind of how it works. And I don't, I'm, it, the channel's not. It's not like any of the race. I don't do any racing type stuff because a lot of YouTube channels are all about how you can get a few seconds faster by and what diet you eat. And my channel's not like that. Just about everyday life. Yeah, I suppose so. so. Excellent. That sounds really interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Um, I think that's all I've got written down here, unless there's anything else you want to tell me. I can't really think of anything. <laughs> I think we've gone through everything, haven't we? So, yeah. Um, let me stop uh, recording in a minute. So, if you're interested in James's uh, YouTube channel, he'll put it down in the comments below. Uh, I'll leave a comment. Yeah, brilliant. Where you can find it and check him out. So thank you, James. Thanks for talking. Right, to thank me. you. I'm going to go and get me tea now because I'm starving. I've been out today, actually. We've done uh, 36 miles in this glorious sunshine. So yeah, I normally look on Strava and see what people are doing and stuff. 
it's interesting, isn't it? I like Strava. I think it's uh, yeah. my other half is not long been cycling, so since the lockdown, really. So he's more of a, a tennis person. And obviously, the courts are shut at the moment, the gyms yeah. are closed. Um, so I've managed to uh, beast him up cycling. <laughs> So, yeah, there's a new there's a new feature on Strava, but eventually you'd have to, you anyone wants to use it have to pay for it, where you can like copy someone else's routes and I know some people are kind of copied some of my routes. And obviously, they change them a little bit, but and I'll probably I think there's someone called Michael Harrod. Yeah. You probably know Smudge Smith is. I mean, yeah, yeah, I've seen his name on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, I'm probably gonna copy one of his routes soon. It goes up near Mans Mansfield, like you know the Silver Hill Turvestal trails, and yeah, I've heard of them. Like I can't remember the name of the hill. One of the old collar is there's just loads and loads of old like disused collar is up there, but. Uh, country parks and some of the trails go up to one of them and Brilliant. anyway so i was checking strava out and um they have uh they, they've changed because obviously there's subscription and then there's free yeah um, so i've gone for the subscription and for what four pound a month i think it's well worth doing but yeah i i was checking out um where if you've done the same route um it will give you a, a log of how well you've done on each time you've done it yeah i find quite interesting i've had a subscription not the f it used to be three different packs I had a safety pack for about a year. One thing I absolutely love looking at every few weeks is the heat maps. I've not been on that. I need to check that out. I mean, I can go on Strava and send you a link so you can see my heat map. Yeah. And you can, well, it shows you like pretty much everywhere I've been since I've been using Strava. You can see the like the trips out near Lincoln and all That's that. So do you go as far as that? How far do you go with your you know your video like rides? Well they're not always super long distance. I just I try to use Sustrand's routes and Again, I just find something that interests me, like a trip last year. Like when I was at a school I went to, we used to go to, it was Stapleford Woods, like near Newark. So last year I chose that wood as a camping spot and cycled up there. And then we took, um, it's Sestrand 647, which is an extremely interesting and nice route to like Clumber Park and then Campton Sherwood Forest and that was an absolutely lovely trip. Fantastic. All these nice places. Mm. I know Clumber Park well because I uh, I have my shop up in Worksop so and I lived up at that area for for a while but I've not been to Sherwood Pines. I know they have um, set routes around there don't they? Is they like yes. three way like two guides. A lot of them are like mountain bikers. Yeah. But Sustrans Route 6 goes through there. I mean, you could, that, that goes like through works up. And it comes down south through like Limby, Nottingham, goes through south of Derby and down to Leicester, Leicester. I've read quite a lot of sections of that. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a bit hilly though in places, isn't it? Excellent. So, right, I'm going to round it up because I can hear my tea. My tea is nearly ready. Okay. So, it's nice talking to you, James. Oh, uh, thanks I a lot. Hopefully, yes. get this on tonight as well. As soon as I've had my tea, I'll get on to it. Um, yeah, thank you for giving me an insight into your life. It's been really interesting. Yeah, I hope like the club rides will be on again and we can oh yeah i've got get a new uh, shirt actually because i've not got a shirt yet um so i'm i'm going to treat myself and buy a new cycling shirt 
Yeah, they get on the Inter's rides again. They, they're definitely a bit faster. Like. They about killed me last. The last one I went on, we went to. Oh God, Southall, Southall Garden Centre. I've roughly know know where that is, but. And on the way back, it's a three percent gradient for five miles. Well, was it? Wow. Done, Mark. Oh, Sarah Sissons. Yeah. He ended up think he's... Oh, well, he ended up pushing me because <laughs> it was it was a long ride that one was. <laughs> yeah, some of them sometimes they used to look at the maps and you think, can I really do that? Like they they do want to like both over and you just think you think they oh, might say fifty miles or whatever, but I still look at the map and think, you know, can I really do that like I know it I just know. looks so far even though I know I should have been a dude of my legends <laughs> anyway. anyway anyway thank you very much thank you for right. speaking to me and I will speak to you soon let me just stop the recording